Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have an FE or a PE problem. This is going to be a little bit conceptual. It's just going to be understanding the basic components of a beam. Uh, this is going to be a structural mechanics problem. So uh, here's what the question says. Identify the most likely fracture path of the staggered hole tension member below. All right, so we see our uh, tension member there. We see that we have, you know, a certain amount of holes. It looks like we got six. We're given uh, clear distances, those types of things. So uh, the first step to this, I just want to come out and say this. The FE has a little bit of stuff in this, but it's not really going to be helpful for our situation. Uh, the FE reference handbook, if you're curious, uh, we're going to be looking at version 10.2, and it's going to be on page 282. So just... Keep in mind, this, this wouldn't really help us for this problem, but uh, if you're curious about more about tension members, those types of things, uh, I encourage you to go check that page out. Now, uh, in the PE reference handbook, they're going to expect you to know this. I mean, it's, it's going to be sort of this common knowledge that you need to be expected to know as you're entering your engineering practice. So um, the first step to this is understanding how staggered holes will fracture. Uh, typically, if you have a hole over another hole, you're going to have some kind of fracture about like that. And so now you can see the mechanical advantage whenever you have staggered holes, your uh, fracture is going to have to actually go at an angle. And so you're going to have more steel in between each hole. I encourage you to check that out if you're taking the FE and uh, just look into just how staggered compares to uh, just straight up holes on top of each other. So uh, the, the answer to this one, A through C, so will it fracture like this? Probably not. Uh, B through D, same ordeal, probably not. How about A through D? Uh, will it skip the A to B and the C to D? The answer to that is probably not. There's a lot of steel right here, and the fracture is going to take the path of least resistance. So uh, with that said, it looks like it's going to be A to B. So that, that fracture is going to happen just about like that right there okay so the answer to this one is going to be d all right so i hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time